Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a watercolor pine cone easy, easy, easy by using my Princeton number 12 black velvet round. And I am just going to start at the top of my page here and with my brush pointing up like a 45 degree angle, just start using my brush to make the to make the shape of a pine cone. I get a little bit bigger going down and I love this Bronzite Genuine because there's granulation in it and you get some natural effects anyway. And as I go down I'm going to round it out and there Okay, and then I am going to take some Lunar Black. That is my favorite black. Get my water under control here. And then I'm just going to, actually I got a little bit too much pigment on my brush. And just start dropping some shadows in. And going around like and make those diamond shapes and make those shadows in that. Now you can get as detailed as you want or you can just leave it like that but sometimes I go back around And put a little bit more detail in. What I love about this lunar black is that it lets the pigment shine through. While still giving shadows. So you can be done there. Make your stem. Get a little bit more black, dark, and put in there. Put some more dark in the bottom. It's so easy to put shadows in with this lunar black. It's very loose. Not much detail. I love it. Now if you want more detail you can let this dry and then go around it with your Micron or Sharpie or um, even a small brush and you can wet your brush a little bit and then you can take up from the bottom and just make lines. I'm going to get a little bit more bronzite and drop right here in the middle just to give the center cone just a little bit more definition.
All right, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back again with some some more shadows. Okay, so now I'm going to come around again for a second layer with my lunar black mixed in with my bronzite and come around and just give a little bit of definition to my pine cone edges. Just a little bit, just to, you know, sometimes if they get too harsh like that, I just come in with a wet brush and not too wet and just smooth them out. But I do like to come back in and give it some to give it some definition. It just makes it look like a pine cone. Just loose. Lunar Black and Bronzite Genuine. You can make that darker around the edges if you want. That Lunar Black will settle out and granulate and then you can take it take your brush and pull it up lunar black is very forgiving i'm just doing some negative painting Come back in, soften the edges, pull it up. And you know, maybe a little bit more up here. give it some more shadows and I like that so I think that's good you could always come in too with your micron if you wanted to and trace around it and give it some more definition make it pop a little bit more so it's your painting and if you don't like it start over I like it with the micron too the pen and ink and you can be real loose with that make it more illustrative there a cute little pine cone I 
you could use if you don't have the Primatec Bronzite Genuine. You could use burnt umber or burnt umber or raw burnt burnt sienna. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna write what I used. Pine cone with bronzite. And lunar black. And this was done 10, 23, 22. All right. I kind of like this with the micron. So there it is. And have fun. There's all different kinds of pine cone. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.